we are here in the Tomcat. I'm going to come in and do a break to land, maybe do a couple of uh, touch and goes. I just dumped down to like 10,000 pounds, yep, we're right there. So I'm going to go ahead and go idle. Wings are going to be at 68 degrees. And we're going to basically do this like we're coming in to land on the boat. I have not landed on the boat yet. I'm not quite to that point, but about 300, 350 knots. Level break at 800 feet. And then throttles go to idle. Speed brakes come out. 250 gear, 225 flaps, and DLC when flaps are down. So there we go. So there's about 300. So let's just kind of keep it there. And a nice ascent, about maybe a thousand feet a minute or so. Somewhere in that range right there at that throttle setting. The Tomcat is a hands-off airplane if you use trim right. I mean, I'm totally hands-off. My throttles are set. Um, and my... Uh, I'm not touching the stick at all. I'm literally just using throttle. Throttle and trim. We're going to go down to about 800 feet. Wings are back at 68 degrees. They'll come forward once I do the at 280 knots. Two more clicks of down trim there. And we'll go ahead and click the HUD into landing mode. I don't really use the HUD for landing. I mean, there's just, it just refreshes too slow in order for, so what you really want to be looking for is your uh, angle of attack, so you're on speed, there's that circle in the middle, and so you're going to trim the airplane for a certain speed, usually about 140, 150, that's what will be around there today. Trim it for on speed, and then you just use the throttles to control your descent. You literally just trim it out, and then you do not, and you almost never touch the stick. It's just all throttle. down to about 800 feet here, still keeping that 300 knots or so, we'll increase it a little bit, there we go, I'll flip that light forward because that will come on in just a few minutes as soon as the gear comes down, um, I did not set the field, there we go, just in case, 1,500 feet. I've got it set. I've got my altimeter set to the uh, airport elevation. I don't have it set to the barometric pressure. So that's okay. Alright, 300 knots. Still looking good. Coming on down. We are at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. slow here. Just gonna watch that and start giving myself some trim. About 325 is pretty good. I come into the brake here in just a minute. Now I'm climbing. I'm still not very good at this. As we level out, we're going to remember that the airplane is going to want to climb as we are gaining that horizontal component of lift. So we're going to just trim that out. Alright. break here in just a minute. Just keeping that trim on there. Is it even trimming? Okay, there it goes. Sometimes I wonder. Alright, here we go. Speed brake's going to come out. 280, wings coming to auto. 250 gear, 
and flaps. And we're going to start trimming. So wait for a safe indication on the gear. Nose wheel's good. And we got left and right mains. Just trim on speed. Trim, trim, trim. There we go. There's our little circle. That's what we want. And now it's going to be throttle. So you just want to watch that descent rate. Right? Catch it. We want to be at about 800 feet anyway. Now we're settling in nicely here. About 500 feet a minute. We're going to work it down to about 600. You can see our little AOA indexer in the HUD there. That looks good. Another quick check of everything. Everything's down and locked, so that's nice. Six hundred feet. Now we're just gonna fly level at six hundred feet, so let's stop the descent. A little bit of power. There it is. Keep that VSI under control. Now we're flying level. There it is. I'm not. I'm literally not touching anything. The airplane is flying itself. I'm just working the throttles a little bit. 500 feet. There it is. Just like we would do at the carrier. Quick look. That VSI, it's racing up on me. Just gonna keep it under control. The biggest thing is to watch your descent and keep it under control before it gets away from you. Because it will get away from you. Very small adjustments with the throttle, don't jockey it or anything. See here, I'm starting to sink. We just want to go ahead and correct that. So we'll go ahead and start our turn. So we're going to expect, as we lose that horizontal component of lift, we're going to expect a sink rate. So we're going to have to add power. Still not touching the stick. Trim is doing all of that for me. It'll be about 400 feet coming around, so that is looks very nice. Keep that turn coming. Looks good. Very nice. All right, here we go. Now we're going to start rolling out on final. We are a bit low. Oh, overshot a little bit. It's okay. Now then we'll keep that descent rate right about there. I did do it a little bit far out, so I am technically below glide slope. So a few hundred feet per minute, we don't need anything crazy. You know, 500 at the most. Literally not touching the stick. It's all throttle. And not touching DLC either. I'm using the uh, throttles to work it. And coming to idle. Oh no! Alright, going around. I pulled it back up off the ground. That was looking so nice. Trimming, trimming goes forward. And flaps are coming.
That was looking really good. Uh, roughly a thousand feet or so. Speed brake can come out. We'll do it. We'll shoot another one. It'll be good practice. How much gas we got? Nine. Nine thousand. We're good. There we go. I hear the gear dropping into place there. We did trim a little bit much. Trimmed a few units too high. Now let's try and get settled here. DLC's out. Quick check of the mirror, DLC's out. Now then. Work it down, work it down. We're 600 feet, that's where we want to be. A little bit fast, a couple clicks of up trim. There it is, it's all trimmed out. I'm hands off the stick. not go any lower than this. This is going to be kind of a tighter, a tighter pattern. I might actually shoot for that, um, that far runway since I'm a bit, in, I'm more in close. So we're on speed showing here, and we're on speed here. That looks good, about 140, VSI is looking great. So I'm gonna go ahead, start our turn, stay coordinated, keep that ball in there. We will have to add some power. shoot for that far runway this time. Gonna level out a bit and as we decrease our bank angle we're gonna expect that BSI to start racing up. So I want to bring off throttle to keep our descent rate. 500 feet a minute. Okay it looks good. Quick check of the gear. Everything's safe. A little bit low. Work those throttles. Definitely low. A little bit of DLC there. There it is, and spoilers should be out, and they are, as well as the speed brake.
wraps up. There's some newer flaps. Go ahead and bring that, uh, bring those guys off. Bring the wings in. Pull up that canopy. Then we'll get clear here and finish up our last few items. There we go. Wait for our tail authority to go out. Then we'll throw it in oversweep. The Tomcat. Just assume that they've already given us clearance to cross. So we get across nice and quick. Displays turned off. Oops, missed that one. We'll go to this one. Not quite straight. Plane captain's gonna ding me for that. Reset our trims here. Here we go. And external. like a hundred pounds in feed. Hey, 300 pounds at point three, not bad. Oh man, a little over here. Let me get all this stuff off. Uh, turn our source off. Do to do, all that should be good. We'll turn this off. Turn him off, turn our stability augmentation off. Um, and then minus that, I think everything else should be good. But, uh, anyway. And then we'll have the ground crew chalk it.
just kind of look at some of the menu options here for this thing. Um, of course, you got your Swordsman, VF32, Puke and Dogs. I got your VF103, um, Jolly Rogers. Looks awesome. Um, and then my personal favorite, the VF84, uh, Jolly Rogers. Gorgeous livery. Uh, n another one is the uh, 102, the Diamondbacks. And I really enjoy the. Where's the Tomcatter? The Tomcatter's livery. This is a really nice one, too. The Tomcatters have a, have a very nice livery. Um, I actually might like. Whoops. On the B. Um, for some reason, I really like, I almost like the 103 uh, Rogers scheme better than I like the VF84. I'm not sure why. Uh, but very, very nice livery on this one. So, anyway, there you go. F14.